Hey, pleasant good evening, everybody. This is just going to be a quick couple minute reaction to the Oilers and Maple Leafs game. Uh, this ended up being a really, really, really good game that ended up starting out pretty defensive. There was not a lot of shots early on. In the first period, the shots were 8-3, to three, so there was only 11 total shots. That is not very much. In the second, it was close to even, 12-8, to eight, still in favor of Toronto. And then in the third period, Edmonton really took over and was able to supply the more pressure, getting it 11-6. to six. Uh, Toronto, they talked about it on the broadcast. Mike Johnson hit it on the head. Um, they were too passive in this game. For some reason, a team that normally is a lot more aggressive with their offense, excuse me for fixing the mic, um, was a lot more passive in this game and didn't play the same game that you're used to seeing them doing and what they've done early on to be able to win the games and be more aggressive there. Uh, Austin Matthews, their lone goal was a pretty lucky goal. Um, it was a good goal for a goal scorer. It was a very effective goal scored by him to be able to spot the fact that Koskinen was off the post a little bit. But by that, I mean Koskinen should have been able to man that post and get on the post better and not let that little gap like that big to get through. But either way, uh, Edmonton played a much better game when it came to a finish in today's game and that's what they've been looking for all season this is a team that's trying to figure out how to play without losing their best defenseman in Oscar Cliffbaum and they played definitely a much better defensive game uh, today and uh, that's definitely what you want to see if you're an Oilers fan uh, if you're a Toronto Maple Leafs fan though you're definitely not happy by this performance you were way too over passive on the one power play you're passing back and forth in front of the net uh, you just gotta shoot sometimes as they were saying on the telecast but if you're an Oilers fan you should definitely um be happy with this game I mean the Oilers got some puck luck finally going their way as well on the goal by it seemed like Yamamoto because it seemed like it hit in front by Yamamoto then VZ kind of cleared it across off of Jake Muzzins and it went in stick and it went in their own net um I think obviously that's very unfortunate for the Maple Leafs but very fortunate for the Edmonton Oilers and then this is a team that has four meetings in 11 days so after a game like this that the Maple Leafs probably feel that they could have had and they probably could have definitely had if they played a more aggressive game. They were pretty passive, as I said, and just less aggressive than you normally see from their team in this game. And the Oilers beat them because, especially in the third period, they came out and played a much more aggressive game. Uh, the shots they had, or, or excuse me, the hits, they had five more hits, and they were blocking shots out there with ease. Their defense and their forwards were really sacrificing their bodies. They had 19 block shots, Edmonton. Uh, that's a good amount of block shots, really sacrificing your bodies out there. And they played a very, a very good game. Uh, other than on the power play, they were not able to capitalize, of course, until the end there when they got a very fortunate bounce uh, from a shot that ended up bouncing right to Dreisaitl. And Dreisaitl, of course, is going to pot that type of goal nine times out of ten, probably ten times out of ten, when he gets an opportunity there. And then Toronto, on their power play, the second one, they got a lot of looks. They were just unable to capitalize and went 0 for 2 on the night. And Koskinen was able to stop them, made a couple key saves on the second one. But Edmonton's defense was able to get some key block shots and just play well overall. Also, Joe Thornton, who's been very durable in his entire career, ended up going off the ice on this one. We obviously wish him well and hope he's okay and able to come back right away as soon as possible because he's a great guy, a great hockey lifer, been in the game for so long, and he's been so durable his entire, entire career. Um, but Edmonton, like I said, supply more pressure in the third. You got to give a lot of credit to them as a uh, as a finishing point, excuse me. And um, they finally were able to capitalize on the power play, and then Josh Archibald was able to score that empty netter. I mean, they played a much better game today. It didn't start out as good as uh, Toronto was able to have more of an effective game in the first period and in the second period for part of it. But then Edmonton started evening it out, and then in the third period they came in full throttle and were really able to attack them after getting the fortunate goal early, which probably made their skates loosen up, made them feel a lot better, breathe a lot looser. And then they were able to have the fortunate bounce to dry cycle, so two fortunate plays a day, and then a nice shot at mid-ice on the empty net by Josh Archibald, who's a bottom six player that I have always really liked. And then a guy that I like that looked pretty good on the ice, whipped on a couple shots tonight for Toronto, I've always liked and hope is able to improve his career a little bit, is Alex Kerfoot, and he looked all right out there. But um, this was a game that obviously Toronto fans are not going to be happy with, but you started your season great. Uh, you're going to be able to bounce back, and you guys are going to be absolutely perfectly fine. Uh, 
obviously a great find is Justin Hall. I mean, this kid looks like he's doing great out there on the one two on one he got back and defended it so well and he did that a couple times this evening. So definitely a great find in him. But this was a great overall game for the Oilers. Uh, my top star would probably I would have to say uh, be realistically the Oilers defense honestly for stepping up and blocking the shots their overall defensive game that would probably be what my top star of today's game would be but if I actually did it by the stars I would have to say uh, Koskinen finally was able to put in a pretty good effort other than that one squeaker goal we shouldn't have allowed in obviously so I'll still give him the second and the overall play of the Oilers defense and then I would have to say the other one would probably just go to Leon Dreisaitl for scoring the uh, decisive power play goal there which really was able to kind of put them away and make Toronto who was a team that looked like they were probably really in it and thought they should have definitely potentially been ahead definitely out of the way there once they were able to get that second goal in my opinion so great game for the Oilers they were really able to supplant themselves and get going here this has been the reaction to the Oilers and Toronto Maple Leafs game by Sports Fanatic News I'm Joe Bordick have a great safe and pleasant day and enjoy the hockey everybody peace out